Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about optimizing your Instagram profile as a virtual assistant. What this does for you is helps you build up credibility, build up authority, and help you bring in more clients, especially ones that are right for you. All right, you guys, stay tuned. All right, guys, so we are going to dive into your bio area and we're going to talk about some of the features you should be using for your business. Let's get started. If you guys are completely new here, my name is April and I am a virtual assistant coach and lead generation expert. I've been doing lead generation as a virtual assistant, a consultant, and a coach for almost three years full time now. And I'm super excited to talk about Instagram and how the, it's going to help you today. So first we're gonna talk about the basic of the basics. What kind of account should you have? From a personal account, a business account, and even the new creator account. So what's really the difference between them all? With a personal account, it's just what it is, a personal account. You can set it on private, you can connect with only a few close friends and family if you wanted to, and of course you can just enjoy it as a consumer. A business account, you can connect it with your Facebook business page because in case you guys didn't know, Facebook and Instagram are owned together under Facebook's umbrella. And then um, you can run ads and of course see the different insights and analytics coming from your profile. So the type of audience that's following you, where your audience is following you, and how are they interacting with you through Instagram. Now with the creator profile, it gets a little bit different. With the creator account, you get exclusive access to the Instagram creator studio on desktop, which is amazing. You also get a few extra features with the unfollow, unfollow analytics, deeper analytics and insights onto your account, engagement stats, you're able to filter your direct messages into primary and general, which is fantastic as a virtual assistant because you can really organize it from leads to clients, as well as tag products from brands, which is a really awesome perk as well. So just depending on your type of goals and your niche really depends on what kind of account you would want. As a virtual assistant and if you are looking to gain more clients and to build a personal brand, I highly recommend going either with a business or a creator account. Now let's talk about your bio, right? Optimizing your bio account is going to help you stand out from the sea of Instagram users which by the way is over 1 billion active users. Crazy. So how do you stand out from that? Well, let's dive in. We're going to start first with your name and your title on your Instagram profile. Now, the reason this is so important is because you want to be easily searchable, right? But you also want to have a clear understanding of what you do and who you are. I'm going to be going over some examples later on this video to give you more of an idea. Now, underneath your name and title is this amazing, huge area for real estate. And when I talk about real estate, I don't mean talking about selling your house. I'm talking about an amazing space for you to customize specifically for your target audience so you can sell your services to them and they'll get a great idea of exactly what you're selling and why they should buy from you. Now you have about five to 10 seconds to attract somebody to your profile and keep them to following your page. So how do we do that in just five seconds? Well, again, it's all about optimizing your account. Now, the first thing we need to talk about is you're having your I help statement inside that real estate. Now, a really great formula for this is I help blank. You're going to put in your target audience, be very clear and specific on who you want to help, what industry they are. And, and you want to be able to really speak directly to that person. Then you're going to go into how do you help them? What big problem are you solving for them? So I help audience do X, Y, and Z or overcome X, Y, and Z or buy X, Y, and Z. So make sure you insert your services right then and there. And then at the end, you save it for their big results, right? So how you're overcoming them into what they're actually overcoming, what they're getting from it. Um, you really want to make sure you give them a good example of what kind of ROI, return of investment they're getting from you and what they could expect from you 
um, and your services. Now you guys, I've already said this, but I'm gonna say it again. You really, really wanna be very specific because you want to make sure you are super clear on the objective you're handling, who you're helping, and why they need you to overcome this. Now you don't get a lot of characters, so you need to be very smart. So the I help formula is here to help you make the perfect, nice, and clear statement for your audience. Now, a lot of gurus out there are gonna tell you, you need to do this, you need to add this. Well, I'm gonna tell you a few things you should not have in your Instagram bio. Number one, leaving the fluff at the door. If you're a dog mom or you love tacos and are taco obsessed just like me, you don't need any of that in that real estate area. The best place for that type of information is on your Instagram stories or even having it as its own specific Instagram story highlight, which we'll cover over later. Number two, don't think you have to use every buzzword out there that all these gurus and coaches are telling you to do. My biggest advice is to use the same verbiage your audience is using. Now, I have a very specific audience type and I use an acronym that is known largely in our community, but not every Joe and Sarah know what I'm talking about. And that's completely fine because even though I can serve them, my main target audience is for a specific type of audience. And I wanna make sure I'm talking as if I'm talking directly to them in person. Does that make sense? And number three, a huge one. Don't have your real estate seem like it's word vomit, okay? Use and utilize emojis and line breaks. This is gonna help you break it up and gives your audience an easier way to actually read your I help statement. All right, so now that we've optimized that real estate area, let's go down into your call to action. Now you might hear, you must have a CTA everywhere from every guru and every coach. And well, it's completely true and it's a must have. You need to direct your audience and really tell them what to do. Now, if you're selling something, tell them how to get it. If you're offering something, tell them how they can get it. If you want to promote your new community or Facebook group, tell them how to go there. Having a call to action and telling your audience exactly what to do is going to be great because guess what? That shows your audience what to do. So having a call to action right underneath your real estate and right above where that website link goes is going to be a great way that you can always change up, offer your services, build up your community, build up your email list, and pretty much keep your audience in the know of how they can continuously work with you. Now all of that transitions nicely into that one website link which is an amazing space for you to promote your services, um, your new freebie, your new community group, your YouTube channel, whatever you want to promote. Something that I always highly recommend changing up consistently. Now, a lot of people, maybe coaches, gurus, are telling you not to use a once very popular trick, but I'm gonna explain why you should use it. Now, if you haven't heard of Linktree, what rock are you under? Second, if you have heard of it, you probably heard it's probably not best to use it now, which is, in my opinion, completely false. It is an approved third party um, that works with Instagram and all of these claims that says, hey, I've noticed engagement dropped or hey, I haven't noticed as many sales. It's all different from tons of different high level gurus and coaches to low level gurus and coaches. So it's all about personal use. Something I've noticed with my students and even with tons of people that I've worked with in the past, clients wise, is the fact that when they're using Linktree, they're giving their audience tons of different options, sometimes even more than five different options, which leads to people clicking on it and then leaving the entire page altogether. And that's because you're giving them too much confusion and too many options. So my rule of thumb is if you're going to use Linktree, is using up to three different options for your audience, which should always include a freebie, a community, and something you are selling. Whether it be your services as a virtual assistant, or maybe it's an ebook for $7. This is a great way to have something free, um, a community that they can join and know more about you, and also where they can buy something from you and you can make money from. Now, if you're going into a huge sale, like you're doing a promotion or um, you are really pushing a specific service, what I do recommend is just doing a direct link to that specific service. 
your call to action and your link should be constantly changed up monthly, sometimes even weekly. Don't worry about constantly changing up. It's great for uh, your audience to always go back to your main profile and to read your bio and really re-understand exactly how you're there to serve them. So there's no questions about it in the future. Now we're at the last bit, your Instagram highlights. Now this is a huge opportunity for every single business owner out there and virtual assistant. Now, the biggest thing I've always noticed when I talk to past clients and past students is April. I just don't know what to put as my Instagram highlight. I don't know how to brand it well. I don't know what I should be adding content wise. Don't be fooled and feel overwhelmed with this. I have an amazing rule that's going to help you really make sure you have intentional content going and using this entire feature intentionally. Are you ready? It's called the three to two method, three business pillars versus two personal pillars. So that's five Instagram highlights all about you, your business, and how people can truly connect with you. Now let's start with the personal pillars. You're going to break this down into two. Now remember when I said if you're a dog mom or if you're just like me and you're super taco obsessed, those are two great pillars to have as Instagram highlights. You want to think what makes you different? What makes you different from anyone else who's doing what you're doing? And why does your audience attract to you? For me specifically, I'm a military spouse and I'm a mom. Now those are two great pillars if I wanted to break it down or because a lot of my clients are also moms, break it down into one pillar. I'm also super taco obsessed and that can be another pillar as well. When you're starting out, I recommend connecting to two big pillars where your audience really gets to know you. It's something that you can always have content on, right? Cause you're always doing it. It's something that's very natural to you. You're surrounded by, and it's going to be very personal to your audience where they start seeing this kind of content and they're like, yes, I know exactly who that person is. It's a great client psychology trick to stay in the back of your client's head and always have them thinking about you. So if they're walking around and they see a dog, they'll think about you. Or if they're by a taco stand, they're going to be like, oh my God, April loves tacos. And they're always thinking about you. Then we're going to go into your business pillars. Now for virtual assistants, I always highly recommend services so people can see exactly what you offer, how much and how you can help them behind the scenes or even client work, depending on the type of business um, that you're offering as a virtual assistant, it'll be great for people to see how you go about that, how you help your clients and even build out your portfolio right there. And then the third one, of course, client testimonials. People want you to be vetted and it's a great way for people to go click on it and see all the amazing people that you've already helped and then how you can help them. Those are three easy and great pillars to start with plus the other two personal ones so they can round out your entire profile and make it uniquely to you. All right, you guys, now it's time for some examples. You might be like, April, this all sounds great, but how do you put in the action? Well, don't worry, I pulled three amazing accounts that I truly follow every single day that I look up to, and they are an amazing example of exactly what I'm teaching you today. So let me show you. So the first one is Charlene. Um, not only is she a fitness coach, but she is a serial entrepreneur. She also does some VA work. She's fantastic and is somebody that I truly look up to. As you can see, she has her name right here as her username. And then she has her nickname of probably what her clients and her friends call her, plus what she does, self-care um, sorceress, which is pretty amazing and enticing. Don't you think if you saw that um, when searching her? I definitely would want to click her profile and be intrigued of what she has content wise. Now going into her bio right here, what I've highlighted, you can see that it's not word vomit, has amazing spacing and emojis, and you can tell exactly who she helps and what she does. So she's a multi-passionate entrepreneur with a no BS perspective on wellness. That's amazing. Uh, she's a mental health advocate, so we get to know a little bit about her more personally and how she probably helps her clients. And she's your wellness hype girl. So something that I feel like no matter what business you have, you definitely need. And then she has her call to action right here, wellness delivered. And as you can see, she has a direct link from her website straight to it. As you go down, we can see her highlights from mental, eats, she must be a food lover like me, self-care, plants, karaoke, beauty, and brands. So I can easily break these down that brands, 
is probably business. Mental is probably business as well as self care, right? Cause that all goes into her wellness area. And then her personal ones are probably beauty, karaoke and plants. So even though she doesn't fully stick to the three to two, it's still in that same representation. The next one we're going to check out is one of my personal favorites, Alex. Uh, she is, as you can see right here, Alex Beaton. She's amazing. And she is the Instagram story queen, which obviously right there, you can tell exactly what she does. Going into her bio right here, she's like, hi, I'm Alex, your intentional <laughs> AF biz bestie. So even though she doesn't have an I help statement, you kind of already can tell just by her title alone how she's going to help you. She's teaching you about Instagram stories. Then she has her call to action right here. Follow me to grow your online empire. And warning, if you want my best stuff, get on my VIP list. As you can see, she has a link tree that you can click and it goes straight to her link tree, which obviously matches her brand completely. And you can tell her community, her podcast, her freebie, join the VIP list. You can get on what she's selling, her coaching waitlist, or shop her Gram Slam My IG Stories course. Perfect. So two sales, her freebie, and her community, which is really great because there isn't a lot of actual confusion. I know if I am a huge follower of her, I could get on her waitlist, but if I wanted something right now because maybe I was new and I really want to test out her education style and coaching style, I can easily head to her shop and go and buy her actual course. Super easy and ready to go. Next, we're gonna move on to Carrie Brady. As you can tell, her name's right here. What, what is she? She's a high ticket sales expert. So even before we go into her bio, I pretty much have a good idea of exactly how she's gonna help. Then you have her I help statement. I help female entrepreneurs sell from a place that combines soul level connection with radical profits. So perfect. So if you are looking to get into high ticket sales, there you go. And then she has a call to action right here, small audience sales vault open, and then a direct link straight to it. Perfect. And then as you can see on her cover story highlights, you have a podcast, free biz tips, mompreneur, sales vault, a new program, and client results. What's really amazing about cover story highlights is as you can tell, she has a new program going on, which is she's probably launching and talking about daily in her Instagram stories. You can always add new highlights as your business is growing and also take some away as you personally build your brand, build your personal brand and change. No big deal. Um, this all looks good. And as you can tell, even though she doesn't have a design, all of these colors are very on brand because if you scroll, you can see all of those colors picked out in her photos, which is perfect. All right, you guys, I hope these tricks and tips really help you up level your Instagram and help you optimize it to build your authority and virtual assisting and help you connect with your dream clients. I can't wait to see you guys next time. So don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe and smash that notification bell. So you can, Oh, Bill, smash that notification bell. So you'll always be invited to the next stay at home profit family video. See you guys next time.